Hello everybody, welcome back. My name is Ursa Ryan and this is an update video. As you can see from the accelerated game happening in the background, I'm gonna talk about that and what I'm doing, but before I do that, just to reinforce, there are some exciting updates in this video, so please keep listening if you can. Now I've mentioned before that I am kind of excited to be geared up towards a little bit of a challenge for you guys. I mentioned a couple months ago I was looking to get towards about 10,000 subscribers by the end of the year and oh my word is it agonizingly close. I cannot tell you how close it is at the moment. I think I was looking at the numbers and we're on track to be at about 9,400, 9,500 by the end of the year or something crazy like that if the growth were happy, you know, continuing as it is doing now. And that would be so hilariously close. So I just wanted to make a quick appeal. I know you guys are fantastic supporters of the channel. Generally speaking, and I'm, I joke about this, you know when a lot of YouTubers will say, oh, well, thanks for watching people, but actually 30 percent of people are subscribed to that means 70 percent of you won and, and all that sort of stuff and get people to subscribe generally speaking i'm really really lucky most people actually subscribe to the video when they watch which is an insane stat and i have no idea how it's got like that but that's awesome but if you do watch and you fancy supporting the channel it's the best way you can do it for three is subbing to the channel because it really really helps me to get out there into the youtube algorithm this is something that's mentioned quite a lot by youtubers and i'm going to try and explain it for you very briefly the youtube algorithm is this insanely complicated piece of software that decides who gets to watch what like if you've ever gone onto the youtube app uh, or, or onto YouTube via a browser or anything like that. You know, they've got the home page that suggests things for you to watch. Um, and more importantly as well, if you have been watching something, the thing that gets suggested to you next, either by saying, oh, if you don't press any buttons, this video will pop up next. Or if you scroll down underneath where like the comments and the description of a video are, the things that it suggests for you to watch next, that's all based on the algorithm. If you watch lots of Civ 6 stuff, it's likely to show you more Civ 6 stuff. If you've been googling how to de-lice a, a dog, then oh boy, your recommendation's going to be fantastic for the next few weeks. So the algorithm is this, I mean, it's, it is omnipotent. It's, it's all powerful. It is like a deity of sorts to YouTubers because my success has so much to do with whether or not the YouTube algorithm likes and suggests my stuff. It's just the sheer blunt reality of it. And one of the major ways that that algorithm gets shifted is how many people subscribe to the video. The more people sub, the more likely the algorithm is going to pick me up. Because if you think about it, say you're watching one of my videos, you've been watching Civ 6 content, YouTube's like, okay, right, they could be sick of some soft jazz in the background. I mean, I mean, who could be sick of soft jazz in the background? But maybe you fancy a bit of a change. It's like, right, okay, I'm going to suggest somebody else. Like, Potato McWhiskey, or Bothius, or Inquisitive Otter, or a lot of the other people that are kind of very linked to what I do. And they're more likely, by far, to be suggested Potato McWhiskey because he has hundreds of thousands of subscribers as opposed to, you know, Inquisitive Otter because he's only got tens of thousands of subscribers. It's just a mathematical thing. So the more people that, you know, sub to the channel, the more likely it is that my stuff is going to be suggested into that general this person wants to watch Civ 6 nonsense so I, I, I can't tell you how important it is there's also other stuff about obviously the more people watch videos the longer they watch the more they like all that stuff I don't need to tell you about that G genuinely speaking you guys are fantastic at engaging content like you chat you comment you like stuff I I I can't tell you how grateful I am. I am not the sort of YouTuber that needs to ask, like, please, please give me some support. I don't, because you're brilliant, and I, I love it, and I'm so grateful. So thank you so much for all the support you give. I, I genuinely mean that. If you haven't subscribed, or, you know, you have a sibling, or significant other, or elderly relative with an account, and you fancy signing up for me, then... <laughs> okay, yeah, within reason, but... Oh, I mean, that would be really grateful. And I, I'm massively appreciative. And I wanted to say as well, I, I probably, you may have noticed, I put a video up on Potato McWhisty's channel about a month and a half ago. And, oh boy, does it does it give an incredible effect when you put videos up on people with a lot of subscribers. My word, that, I mean, that was fantastic. And I'm hugely grateful to um, Potato for, for helping me with that one because he... 
Uh, he went on holiday, he reached out to a few YouTubers, he very much managed to push me in at the last minute um, against his own timetable and, and the fact that he was on holiday and dealt with this all at the same time. So I'm hugely grateful to him and for you know various other bits of support he's given me over the time. So uh, that one video channeled like a thousand three, a thousand four hundred people like subscribers to the channel, something like that. We went straight through the seven thousands in like a flash. And when you consider, I think I turned just over two thousand subscribers at the beginning of this calendar year, and now we're pushing just over eight thousand. Like, oh boy, that's four times growth in like ten months. I mean, that's oh, I I can't tell you how lucky I am. Like, I don't get it. I really don't get it and in the best possible way like it's just mind-boggling so yeah that that video I'm so grateful for the opportunity that he gave me and I am looking to do more with other youtubers and you know if you want to ever suggest collaborations and things that would be you know would work well for me styles that work well with my sort of inane happy ramblings then I'm always looking for those sort of things but yeah I mean that was brilliant that was an insane video that went up just quickly, I thought I'd give some context to the background game that's going on. I came home, and you may have noticed I didn't put a video up yesterday. I had a combination of a few days with an incredibly large amount of life stuff to deal with. A trip down to London for my work. I'd had a week of very busy work coming up to... Uh, <laughs> I work in tax. Yay! Oh, make of that what you will. This is, this, have you ever wondered why I'm really desperate to, like, you know, move on? That could be why. <laughs> I really want to do this full time. But but it's winter is always very difficult for, for the tax, and, and it got very busy. So I had a kind of a week where I fell a little bit behind on recording, and getting something up every day is a fun, fun challenge and something I love. But I got away from me a little bit. So that's why there was no video yesterday. I've got a few days now to catch back up with where I was and obviously doing these update videos helps me to keep back up because filming this takes a significantly smaller amount of time than doing a game. But the game in the background right now, I, I came in, I was like, right, I'm too tired to film. I want to play some Civ. I want to make some content. So I'll do the whole play a game and just, you know, I'll talk over it later. I fancied an easier game. So I think I played Germany because I mean, who doesn't like Germany? There's something so fun about playing Hanses and combining them with commercial hubs. And then I was like, right, do I fancy just going into space? Nah, I don't fancy going into space. I'll do a culture game. I love culture games so much. It's definitely, I think, Civ 6 at its best. You know, combining wonders, combining civics, combining building and trade and diplomatic relationship with other civs. Like, it really does bring all the parts of Civ together, I think, like no other victory condition. Religious is his own little game. Domination, you just kind of forget about everything and build battleships, and science is fine, but it's the same game over and over and over. So on this one, I think I started out, it was the six-pronged snowflake. I fancied a smaller map with a little bit of interest, and I always like the sort of race to the middle that comes with this particular map. I think I went Owls of Benerva because I was like, well, Lots of commercial hubs, lots of trade routes. I'll make some city-state friends. That's quite good. And I was like, okay, culture. I'll beeline social media and I'll beeline globalization and just rush in. I think I played medieval start because I could never be bothered to do those first few turns. And yeah, I think I just went hands, 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 hands everywhere. Put down a load of commercial hubs. And then once that started to work really well, I think I had holy sites going with uh, Feed the World, which is an insanely productive stack with Germany, they already get one district, so you start putting Feed the World down and increase the population of your cities even further, there's so many districts you can pack into each city because of that. It's an insanely fun combination. And then I started building theatre squares after and just kind of spammed stuff. So you can see that all happening in the background and it's, oh, it was a really, really fun game actually, very chill, very peaceful. I think I made pretty much diplomatic friends with most, if not everyone, throughout the game and, and just kind of pulled off a little bit. So that was fun. So we've talked about channel growth, which has been an amazing thing. And the 10K by the end of the year is a real exciting goal for me to try and get. That, that puts me so close, so close to being able to genuinely do this as a job. And I like that is, it would help me so much. Like it is such a cool and exciting and scary idea that, I know I keep going on about it, but I can't tell you how exciting it is. So there we go. That's why I keep plugging it. But I did want to just say 
you know the Patreon crew, right? If you've been onto the Discord, you'll see them in green when they chat. I have my own private little community with them where we hopefully, and I, I really hope you guys get enough out of it. Do I, I, It's always an active conversation. You must always tell me if I'm a little too distracted, a little bit too quiet, but we have this amazing community where we chat about the stuff that I'm producing. I know you guys are, generally as an audience, you are fantastic at suggesting games for me, suggesting sibs for me, mods, different challenges and all this stuff. And I do very much take on board everything that you guys say, but there's only so much I can produce. And the Patreon crew really do help me to narrow down ideas, to narrow down maps. I, I generally try and throw as much against them as I can, like sort of throwing paint at a wall, but the wall is my Patreon crew. <laughs> Just like, yeah, what, what should I do? What should I do? And they're generally really, really good. They genuinely help me to plan what goes up on the channel. So if, and again, here we go, plug, 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 but I'm not really that shameless. This is a fantastic time to do it. The Patreon crew are the guys that help me to make the channel. If you have ever been feeling like you really want to contribute towards what I put up, the style of content, the games, the sieves, the challenges, and you fancy joining up, Patreon is the way to do it because these are the guys that... I do genuinely have a proper dialogue with about the construction of the channel. It's amazingly, like they support me. They, they generally help me to do what I do and to pay for the equipment. And obviously every time that Civ 6 puts out a piece of DLC, which they haven't done in a little while admittedly, but that normally bankrupts about 500 people every time they do. Oh yeah, Frontier Pass, wonderful. That's another like X amount of money. And you're like, God, I don't want to actually, I don't want to actually sit down and work out how much money all of the game and then all the Frontier Pass and Gathering Storm and Rise and Fall and all this stuff has cost over the years. <laughs> like, oh my god, it's like an addiction, isn't it? Oh. But they, they really, like the Patreon crew are the guys that are going to help me to do this full time. You are the ones supporting me. You are the reliable income that I could lean on if I ever wanted to... You know, everyone's got family, everyone's got financial obligations in their own life. As much as I want to just chip it all in and do YouTube full time, it's tough. It's really tough. You know, jobs are here for a reason and I need to continue doing my job because unfortunately being an adult sucks and there's, there's life obligations and things and, you know, everyone has these things and, and I totally get that it's not something everybody can do and I do stress that if you want to support the channel, subscribing and commenting and doing all of that shite is massively helpful and is all that I could ever ask from anybody and the Patreon crew go well and above what I do but just I just wanted to say thank you again genuinely from the bottom of my heart for all you guys do if you do fancy joining up like that is that that will help me to do this full time that is the support needed to genuinely make this dream a reality and it is a dream like and I know it's a selfish dream because it's totally my my you know fight and it's my life and I have no right to ask anything of you but somehow every time you do step up and I, I I'm mind boggled by the generosity and there we go I just wanted to plug it especially if you, if you fancy signing up towards the end of the year this is the time that it makes the difference and yeah, 10k is so close and I am so honoured to be even considering this right now. And again, one final plug, the Patreon crew really do help me to plan my content. So if you've, if you've got that itch, you're like, oh, I wish us and Ryan would do something. That is the way to get a direct channel of communication to me because, you know, that's what these guys, these guys help me to support the channel. I, I owe it to them and I love it. I love it. I hear it mentioned a few times every now and then that the community polls and those of the community polls are the posts I put up on YouTube that pop up on your home feed every now and then with Ryan going like, Ugh, do you think this will happen or that will happen? Like Potato puts them up all the time and they just seem to have Nuzlocke and <laughs> as an option. And <laughs> Inquisitive Otter feeds mine all the time with talks about burritos. I I try and make mine, I, yeah, I haven't really got like a, an equivalent I can annoy you guys with. And I know they're annoying. I know the community posts are annoying. I'm dancing the YouTube game. You'll have to forgive me. It massively increases algorithm traction when I do that like it is a measurable difference so that's why I do it I know it's annoying you guys put up with it you do brilliantly thank you so much for putting up with it and am I going to stop no 
you can moan about it if you want, but it's going to keep happening until YouTube changes its game and suddenly it's like the only way to get an algorithm boost is to tattoo the YouTube algorithm on your leg and in which case I'm going straight down with my Patreon money to the nearest <laughs> tattoo parlor, but until that happens, unfortunately, this is just the game we need to play and it's not just me, it's all YouTubers play this game, I'm sorry about that, I know it's annoying, but, you know, again, that interaction you guys give just with that quick vote makes a huge difference to how many people get, sh you know, their throats rammed with my content, so there we go. At the moment, I'm very much playing around with longer form content, shorter form content, bigger series, smaller series, TSL, challenges, regular games. Actually, the one that really amazed me was the Congo game. Like, I think I was having a chat to, to Johnny, the, the admin on my uh, Discord, and it was really, really funny because we were chatting about things I plan. I, I had a TSL game before that point, I think it was the Russia or the, the Soviet Union game, and then I had some plans for stuff afterwards, but I was like, I can't start that now, I've got a small amount of time, I just need to film something. So I was like, nah, I'll do this one for me, I'll just play this random Congo game and maybe it'll be a bit of a like, you know, no one will really watch it and that's fine, but oh my god, did you guys watch it? It was incredible, like, you loved it and I, I don't get it, like, it was just this random Congo game and... Yeah, there we go. I'm still learning the thumbnails. Oh my god, thumbnails make such a difference as to whether you guys watch stuff. I don't know what you guys like in a thumbnail, but blimey, if I do a good one, then it's like, boof, a magnet. And if I put a bad thumbnail up, like, oh, it's really depressing, right? So there's, whenever I put a video up, there's this sort of analytics dashboard and an app that tells me how my videos are doing and it's decided over a few years ago to start telling me ranking by views as to in the last 10 videos where that last video goes up so if it's like one of 10 I think I've mentioned this before like it's the best video I've put up in the last 10 in terms of how quickly people are watching it it puts literally a graph of time against views and if it's like one of 10 it gives me little fireworks and it's like yay looking good this is fantastic well done and if you put a video up with a bad thumbnail and maybe it's like the last video in a series and you know the first video of a series always does better because people are like right something new and you know you've got to be three or four videos vested in to be watching something at the end of the series it'll go like 10 of 10 and it'll go hmm people who usually watch your content are not watching this video and you're like oh cheers youtube thanks for that yeah, it's like really helpful advice. I was deliberately putting something up so that people wouldn't watch. Oh, thanks for telling me that. Now I know. Now, now I'll just put something up that people will watch. Oh, what good advice. I wish I could turn that off. It's so annoying. Like, for goodness sake. Like, I don't need to be judged against myself continually, right? I do this because I put a video up every day and I enjoy it. I don't need to know everything like that. And you can't turn that stat off. And it's really annoying because it's like the first thing that pops up and I'm like, go away i don't need to know that no one's watching this video like shove off i've totally lost the chain of what i was doing i have the congo that's what a congo's video and these guys they did really well the series did really well and all i was doing was basically just building stuff so oh he knows what you guys want also yes i know you guys have rated for the score victory that wasn't even i wasn't even baiting you right that wasn't a uh, like me trying to be like oh isn't it really funny I'm gonna get people to vote score victory it's a genuine thing I'm gonna do a score victory I'm not gonna do a 500 turn game because a no one wants to watch that and b that would take about 17 years for me to film I have a supercomputer right it is a really I am and again thank you so much Patreon crew for helping me to afford that it was that you guys paid for it and it, it is massively helped the content that I can put out but even that struggles with games post turn 400 it's not going to happen so I'm going to do a score victory I'm going to do it like maybe turn 275 300 something like that which should be really good fun um but yeah, I, I mean, the stuff that I'm putting out at the moment, I'm really enjoying Civ still. And am I going to try other things soon? Probably, yeah. I mean, I might I might st try and diversify a little bit in terms of the content. I'm not planning on drifting too far away from Civ anytime soon, so don't worry. Don't worry, this isn't going to become a humankind channel or anything like that. But I'm definitely thinking about ways I can branch out in a way that you guys will enjoy. Like much shorter form games, like putting a game up of another game that's really condensed and with a lot more humor in it or something. I, I don't know, we'll, we'll figure something out. Um, oh, ages ago, and this is, okay, so if you ever wanna have a, a laugh, if you look back in the history of the videos on this channel, some of the stuff I used to put up before I really focused on Civ Five back in the day, 
is really just like random stuff like me playing Mario Party and Sonic games and I think I've, I mean obviously Skyrim was a huge player through that I did over the years but I think I played like a Fallout game for like five or six episodes with some with some friends and oh my goodness that was hilarious doing that so I mean who knows what I'll do but um yeah I mean I'm looking forward to trying different stuff in other news, the Lake District is wet. Who would have thought something called Lake in the title was was wet? I mean, that's crazy. And we've had a lot of flooding here, but I'm fine. I live up a hill, you know, because gravity. Who, who would let gravity conquer their everyday lives? <laughs> you valley scum. <laughs> I live on a hill. Oh, dear, so I've been fine. I've been genuinely fine. And we've had some really lovely weather the last couple of days. So we've been able to get out and do some lovely walks, which is great. I still I still plan on doing like an out and about walking update video at some point. And uh, I've maybe got to invest in some camera. Oh, and I've been thinking about doing some live action stuff. I think I mentioned this before, but I've got some really cool ideas. I just need to actually figure out how to do it in the manner that I do it. Do I do it like out on location? Do I do it in this like study where I, where I record stuff? I don't know. There's still some planning to do on that one. Um, I still want to do some more collaboration with other YouTubers. I'm generally the biggest problem I have with that, and I know you guys mentioned streaming quite a lot. It is quite a physical limitation I have at the moment between A, the time that streaming takes. If you want me to be able to stream, and the more you throw subs at me and the more that you support me on Patreon, the more likely I am to be able to do that. But again, it sounds crude, but that is genuinely the thing that unfortunately I have to work, which is which is a big time drain. Um, but the internet connection I have in this place is not the best and I'm waiting for the infrastructure to be improved, which, you know, it, life always improves. Internet only ever gets better rather than worse. So, I mean, all it's got to take is just a, you know, open reach, whoever the guys that do the, the internet network in the UK. All it's going to take for them is to just them appear and, and fix the connection and suddenly instead of getting 30 to 35 megabits i'm getting 60 to 70 and that would be the step that i would need to reliably be able to put out twitch content so or even twitch i don't even know would i go twitch or would i go youtube live that's still a an interesting one that we, we have this amazing little community um on my discord of other youtube creators and we natter about stuff all the time and support each other in terms of like the the troubleshooting of how to run a youtube channel and i, I need to ask whether or not one is better than the other because i know like sedux lancelot and inquisitive otter do a lot of youtube live and i know obviously bothius does a lot of twitch so i need to i need to pick their brains and work out <laughs> which is better what, what works better than the other but there are some ramblings for now. I hope you guys enjoyed the Halloween special. I'm definitely thinking of the Christmas special. If you're still listening to this video at this point, well done on sticking out. Let me know. I, I am shooting out. What's what's a fun Christmas thing I could do? I have found one mod that I used last year that puts Santa in as a leader, but that's only a Rise and Fall game, which is a little bit annoying. I need something that's like ideally Gathering Storm and Frontier Pass friendly. So... Uh, yeah, something fun that would be would be entertaining as a Christmas game. Maybe someone can make me like an all snow map or something. I don't know. We'll see. I mean, that that could be hilarious. <laughs> actually thinking about it, but something like that would be would be really really fun. I'm gonna crack on. I've uh, I've been rambling for way too long. I have to talk for long enough to mean that the game isn't sped up quickly enough that you guys get like travel sick watching it. But if I talk too long, you guys will get invariably bored so thank you so much once again for all of your support thank you for everyone who joins up on discord i just wanted to say there's like a thousand four hundred people there that's nuts oh challenge game there's going to be another challenge game coming up really soon um i really hope you guys enjoy that i want you guys to get stuck into that as much as you can because that's going to be hilariously fun but until then take care everybody i love you lots and i will see you next time goodbye and finally, a very special shout out goes to Scott Stratton, Major King Kong, Matthew Wilkinson, Salty Tech, Midnight Oil, Trafford Askby, Paul Coffey, and Senjik for all of your support on Patreon, as well as everybody else who supports the channel. Thanks all.